Hello and welcome to R&D Labs with me Rohan and the map series that we are covering. Today we will see how to get the coordinates from Apple Maps using long tab gesture using MapKit in your software project. Let's get started. For this tutorial, we will start off from where we left off in the previous tutorial in which we had seen how to create a route from point A to point B on an Apple map. Uh, we had specified the source and we had specified the destination. Firstly, uh, what we had done is we had actually requested the permission from the user to capture his user uh, coordinates or the location for where he is actually using the app. And uh, based on that, we had created the source and the destination was kind of uh, simulated from our side and we had created a route on a map so this is what we have done in the previous tutorial i will place the link of the previous tutorial in the description box below so that you can follow along so what are we going to do in this tutorial uh, we already have the hard work ready and what we're going to do now is we are going to create a long tab gesture on our apple maps from that you can get the coordinates uh, of the location that you have tapped on on an apple map so this is what we are going to do uh, we are going to add in a delegate for our gesture recognizer so let's go ahead and add that so let's say ui gesture recognizer delegate all right and next you need to bind this gesture uh, to your map so what are we going to do now is we are going to create a variable of UI long tab gesture and then we are going to bind that to our map. So let's write, we go down and after we have set the delegate to the map, we will say let uh, say o oh, long tab gesture uh, is equal to UI long tab gesture recognizer. This is the one and we have to specify the target and an action okay so we will leave that for now because we have to create an objective c method for this and after this what we are going to do is we are going to uh, assign this long type gesture to our map okay so let's say self dot my map dot add uh, gesture recognizer and over here uh, we will have to specify uh, the long time gesture variable that we had declared on the previous line. Oops, sorry. So let's write it over here. So let's say long tab gesture and we are done. Uh, we will come back to this line later on because we have to declare that as I said earlier. So let's go ahead and uh, declare the long tab gesture objective C function so that we are able to bind that to our map. So let's write somewhere here, make some room and let's say objective C, OBJC yeah and let's write a function uh, let's say handle long tab gesture okay gesture I, yeah this looks okay and uh, let's give it a argument of ui long tab gesture recognizer okay so it will take in an argument of uh, long tab gesture recognizer yeah press gesture recognizer so it is taking an argument in and uh, let's work with that uh, parameter so let's say if uh, gesture recognizer dot state uh, is not equal to ui gesture recognizer dot state dot ended okay so that means it is uh, an active tap okay so let's say let touch location uh, is equal to gesture recognizer dot location okay so you're getting uh, the tab gesture uh, from the map okay and we are we are actually getting the location from the tab gesture okay so let's say in my map okay that is our map object which is declared right here okay it's an outlet for our map now uh, now the next line of code that we are going to write is we are going to convert the location to a coordinate okay so let's say let uh, location coordinate if i spell that right is equal to my map uh, 
convert and we are going to convert the location uh, to the coordinate okay so we will have to see one of the overloaded uh, methods over here just pick that one for you this is the one okay so you will convert the uh, the location that is the point over here and we will have to convert that from the map okay so we will have to see uh, touch location and we will have to get the coordinate from the map okay so let's see my map over there and we have got the coordinates okay now uh, what do we do so uh, let's say print that's our confirmation if we have received any coordinates from that or not okay so let's say um, tapped uh, uh, tapped at latitude okay and we will just add that value uh, which is location manager oh sorry a uh, location coordinate <laughs> location coordinate dot latitude okay and longitude dude to be uh, location coordinate dot longitude okay so this is what uh, the confirmation that we can at least have uh, from our uh, location coordinate variable okay so if you have anything returned over here that means we have successfully captured the coordinates there is one more condition uh, that I wanted to add over here is to check if the state is not began okay and then just simply return back from the function okay so this is an essential checkpoint that we are going to add uh, on a function so let's go ahead and do that so let's say if just a recognizer uh, dot state is not equal to ui just a recognizer this one dot state dot began okay so it will always return if the state is not began so let's say return okay and if anything apart from ended okay it will definitely go into this block and fetch the coordinates out for you okay so and wouldn't it be cool enough for us to uh, actually add a pin to that particular location uh, we have already written that block uh, somewhere in our previous tutorial so why not just copy paste that uh, this is the block that we had written so let's go ahead and kind of paste it here yeah we already have the location coordinate uh, and we are going to just uh, replace this variable with the location coordinate variable that we had created earlier and that's it and I would also give in a title over here to my pin which will be somewhat similar to this and I will add it here that's it okay so I have added my title uh, to my pin and uh, the annotation is also added to my map okay so I think this should fairly result in uh, in, in showing the pin on the tab gesture recognizer along with the, uh, with the latitude and longitude for that particular touch location so let's fire this up now on my simulator which is iPhone 12 Pro and let's see how it fares oh ah we did miss out on this <laughs> uh, okay so the target is uh, self and over here we will have to call the objective c function that we had declared over here so let's say uh, selector and we will have to call in the objective c function which is view controller that is our class name controller dot handle long tab gesture and that's it I think it is okay now <laughs> we did miss out on that isn't it okay so uh, let's go and give it another try on our simulator so let's see what we have over here the simulator is just up it's taking a while to load let's see 
all right so we have our location setup which is a simulated location okay and uh, let's see if i can just long press or rather long tap on the map and see whether we can get another pin over there let's go ahead and do that wow there you go so i'm just dropping pins all across san jose Isn't that incredible? <laughs> wow. So you can get in the location coordinates uh, with a long tap gesture with all the code that we have written in this tutorial. So it is that simple to get the coordinates out from your map kit using long tap gesture in your set project. I hope you like this video. If you have any doubts, please reach me out in the comment section. I'll be happy to help as always. And please, please, please like and subscribe to the channel. And see you until next time. Cheers.